What is going on guys that are here welcome back to another video and today's video I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to set up bongo cat in OBS studio or any other streaming software So first of all the download link for bongo cat is gonna be in the description below and also in the pinned comment So make sure you guys check that out download it and unzip that file Once you guys have that folder open that up and you guys can have you guys can see a lot of things are in this folder so first of all the images that you guys see in my folder are different from yours because I customized my own bongo cat to look like this so and if you guys want to know how to customize your own bongo cat as well let me know and I can make a separate video on that but today's video is just going to be letting you guys know how to set up bongo cat for OBS pretty much what you guys want to do in this folder double click on the bongo cat.exe program once you guys have that open double click on the settings that text file now you guys can see that we have the on, at the top, we guys can see that there is key 1, which is set to W, key 2, which is set to Q. That is for me. I set my own key binds for Bongo Cat. So, for example, uh, let me just show you guys. If I press on W, Bongo Cat does a little animation like that. And if I press on Q, there is another different animation for Bongo Cat to do. So, you guys can see that Bongo Cat is pretty cool with that. So if you guys want to set your own keybinds for Bongo Cat, all you got to do is switch these letters right here to whatever keybind you want to set it to. Uh, let's just say I want to set my uh, W instead of W, set it to T. So once you guys just change that, make sure this is capital by the way or else it's not going to work. So once you guys have done that, save, close the text file, restart the Bongo Cat program. And now if I press on T, there we go, Bongo Cat does a little animation again. So and if I press on W, it doesn't work anymore. Now that you guys have fully configured the Bongo Cat.exe program, double click on the Bongo Cat.exe again, make sure you guys have it opened up, minimize out of the folder, and you guys can go to OBS. Click on the plus symbol, you guys are gonna add a source that is gonna be a window capture. So click on window capture, click OK, and now you guys can see that for the window, it is set to Bongo Cat. If this is not set to Bongo Cat, make sure you guys set it by clicking on this, and then you can just set it to Bongo Cat right here. Okay, and now you guys can have a little preview of what it's gonna be looking like once we press OK in OBS. So click OK, and you guys can see we have Bongo Cat in OBS. There we go, you guys can make it bigger, make it smaller, and the keys still work by the way if we click on T and the if I click on Q so those are the two key binds you guys can see bongo cat animates so key things to remember about bongo cat.exe do not minimize out of it or else bongo cat will freeze in OBS so here's a little demonstration of that so if I click on minimize there we go I'm moving my mouse and it's not moving anymore in bongo cat uh, or in OBS studio so make sure you guys have it open instead of minimizing out of it just click away from the Bongo Cat program. So you just click on OBS and there we go. We can still have Bongo Cat running in the background without having it minimized. Okay, and now if we want to make this transparent, what we're going to do is add a filter to it. So just right click on the window capture, click on filters, click on the plus symbol at the bottom and then add a chroma key. Press OK and there we go. And do not mess with anything in the setting right here. Everything is fine and now we can just click on close so there we go we have a filter set and we have bongo cat transparent now so that is all you got to do for bongo cat in obs if this does not work for you here is another way that you guys can set up bongo cat in obs so we're going to remove the window capture the way you guys want to do is go to the plus symbol at the bottom click on game capture press ok and for the mode make sure this is set to capture specific window and then for the window make sure this is set to bongo cat.exe same as last one uh what we did with the window capture and so there should be a little preview popping up again okay and now we're done with that press ok so now you guys can see that bongo cat is working fine as it is and we can still move bongo cat we can still press the keys and it's working fine so and then uh, to make this transparent again, go to filters. So right click on it on the game capture, click on filters, click on the plus symbol at the bottom, add a chroma key, and that is it. You can close out of that. And now we have Bongo Cat all transparent. You guys can also make it bigger or smaller, whatever you guys want to do with the size, but 
that is all it for today's video if you guys enjoyed and if this helped you a lot please be sure to drop a like on this video subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and leave a comment down below if you guys have any issues on this and i'll be sure to reply as soon as possible thank you guys for watching and peace out